You know who else is doing things? Google is doing things. They have a new subsea cable connecting the U.S. and Europe. How about a little, a quick little cable, some quick fiber from, uh, I don't know, Virginia to France. You want to lay that down, Will? No. Sheesh. Look, Imagine that task. They're like, yeah, just get to the bottom of the ocean. It's no big deal. Just get this fiber all the way over there. We need faster connections. Uh, this project, named after Nobel Peace Prize winner and founder of the Red Cross, Henry Dinant, uh, it was started back in 2018. 4,000 miles of cable with a capacity of 250 terabits per second, or enough to transmit the entire digitized Library of Congress three times every second. Oh. I don't, that means nothing to me. I don't. <laughs> to uh, put it in perspective, but not really. It uses 12 fiber pairs coupled with a number of technical innovations around maximizing its bandwidth to achieve these numbers. 250 terabits per second, it sounds... I, I just like the sound of it. I would, I would like 12 separate fiber pairs coming into the studio. That's what I would like for a quick upload. Yeah. But no, no, no. You need these type of pipes for the, re for the real... Uh, for the public. I mean, this is increasingly interconnected increasingly life is taking place over these lines and these things are necessary for fast data transmission across the globe mm -hmm. you can get a cool little graphic you know i like a nice graphic here will of what the installation is a little bit further there like it's virginia on one side and france on the other it really makes it feel like a small world just a couple yeah. of neighbors just cross this little chasm over here yeah yeah, yeah. You're good. what the atlantic ocean nah this is a small just ride dip. A dolphin so you can see the different labeling of how this will work. It will make its way to Google in Belgium, actually, after it touches land at the west coast of France, and it will get to Google's customers in the EU. This is primarily for their cloud products, and uh, so they're trying to you know, distribute this, these services across a larger landscape. Actually, there's one more graph I want to show you. Uh, if you go down to the bottom, which showcases some of the major fiber lines connecting the entire world. It's at the very bottom. Look at that thing. You can click on it and make it bigger. Wow. Cool. Look at this thing, Will. Nice. It's kind of like, it's like a, a switchboard, a patch bay, like one of those analog synthesizers, mm. just yeah. patching in different nodes of the world. Isn't it weird how things kind of... Nodes. Look like that. At, yeah. You just zoom out far enough and everything is that. Uh -huh. Just nodes being plugged in to one another. Yeah. Crazy. Very cool. Look at those giant fat cables. Oh, we just have to hope now that the sharks don't get down there and start uh, biting them. And all Because you remember that clip? They yeah. were having trouble they with sharks getting spaghetti. too... Yeah, they are getting too interested in them in the past. Yeah.